Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone, guys. It's your boy, Nice1983, and today we have a brand new unboxing. What we have here is the Ban Presto New Super Mario Bros. Super Mushroom Coin Bank. It's yet again another piggy bank in a mushroom style. If you remember last year, guys, we opened the year up with me unboxing a bunch of those that I got for Christmas. I have 11 in total, but this one isn't like the previous ones I got. If you remember, those were a gift set that, you know, people get on the holidays. This is a straight up coin bank made by Ban Presto. Ban Presto makes some of the best Super Mario Bros. toys that have ever been made. So I look forward to reviewing this product. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. The box is the box is actually kind of interesting. I've never quite seen any kind of packaging like this. Um, it doesn't even cover the figure itself or the bank itself. So there's a lot of Japanese text here on this box. You have the new Super Mario Bros. logo right in the center. The Band Presto logo up at the top. And then you have your recommended age groups, which is two and up. I don't know why Piggy Bank needs a recommended age, but I guess it's to prevent kids from actually swallowing coins. So there you go, Nintendo's looking out for you even when it's not video game related. So what we're gonna just do here is we're gonna quick fire all the images of the other sides of the box because it literally doesn't change from the front of the box. This is a very minimalist box. All right, so we got the coin bank out of the box and look at it guys, it's perfect. It looks exactly the way a super mushroom should. This doesn't even look like a piggy bank. This actually looks more like one of the replica props that you see at Nintendo New York or if you guys watch real close in that video of Miyamoto doing that interview for Universal Studios, you see mushrooms and all these other prop items that they have in the video. This mushroom bank looks exactly like one of those props. I love the glossiness of it. The paint job is amazing. There's not a single piece of paint out of place. And as a toy collector, that makes me really happy, guys, because we never, ever really get toys here in the U.S. that have paint this good. What I really like about this figure right here, though, is that the eyes are actually molded. They're not painted on. That's what I like about this figure, just a lot of attention to detail. We don't see that much attention on products like this here in the United States. It would be easy to have made this with just paint on accessories, but no, they molded the eyes. That's next level shit, guys. So again, guys, I'm just going to quick fire the other sides of this mushroom bank. Um, because it is a super mushroom, there's not a whole lot of detail that we can get into. So let's just quick fire it. Okay, it's comparison time. And what I have here is the super mushroom piggy bank that I got last Christmas sitting next to the Ban Presto super mushroom coin bank. They look pretty similar, but they also look pretty glaringly different. I mean, the Super Mushroom is so iconic, so even if you get it somewhat right, you're getting it right. But you see the differences between these two products. The, the Ban Presto product looks way better. I thought the, the other Peggy Bank was great, but looking at it side by side, there is a huge difference in the quality of these two products. Their sizes are different. The Mushroom Piggy Bank is about an inch and a half smaller than the Ban Presto Coin Bank. It is completely different. And that's awesome. I, It makes me really mad because Japanese kids be getting the best stuff and I don't think they're aware of it. Look at the difference in quality, guys. It is incredible. I, I'm gushing over this. I really am. I just don't know how to describe it because it's so much better it's, it's a significant difference between these two figures let's go ahead and break out the 20 inch Mario so we can look at that side by side with this mushroom coin bank all right so we got the 20 inch Mario by Jack Specific and we got the Ban Presto mushroom coin bank side by side and this is where I'm a little bummed out because it is about an inch and a half bigger than the piggy bank that we showed off just in the last slide guys it's out of scale and it being out of scale kind of bothers me because this is something I would have liked to have showcased side by side with this Mario. But there is no way that a Super Mushroom is that big in comparison to Super Mario. It's just out of scale and I like it when my figures are in scale. This is more in scale with me. Like I'm about 5 foot 7. This is in scale with me. So this is not in scale with the Mario. 
Again, it bugs me out, but it is what it is. It still looks great standing with it. It looks like a prop, guys. It really does. All right, guys. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to move into score time. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so it's score time. My favorite time. Why? Because I get to tell you whether or not something is worth your hard-earned money. So this thing retails for $24.99. I got it off ToyWiz. They're a great website. And they had a few more of these on the website. So let's go ahead and break it down for you guys. Now, its appearance, this is one of the best Super Mushrooms I have ever seen. I have a ton of Super Mushroom toys just lying around the house. I scatter them around the house so that my place looks like the Mushroom Kingdom. It's a weird thing that I do, but I do it. And this is the best one. It's got this perfect glossiness to it that really make it stand out from some of the other softer vinyl figures that I have of Super Mushrooms. It's also a piggy bank, guys, so that's pretty damn cool. You gotta throw some change in there, go ahead and do it. But its appearance is great. The only negative I have is it's big. It's really big, so it's out of scale with my Jack Specific Mario. But that's an American toy that wasn't designed with this piggy bank in mind. So, Van Presto made a great Super Mushroom piggy bank. The paint is on point. The details are all molded on. This thing is perfect, so it gets a 10 for its appearance. As far as its functionality, it's just a piggy bank, so it holds your money. I like to save money, guys, and I hate using pennies. I like to just store them away, and then I'll take them to like one of those little cash machines later on. But this is perfect. It does what it's supposed to do. It holds your money, so it gets a 10 for its functionality as well. So we give it a 10 for its appearance, a 10 for its functionality. This product gets a perfect 10. It gets our official. Nintendo Power Zone seal of quality. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Nintendo Power Zone unboxing. Before I let you go, I gotta throw out these social media links. You can hit me up on Twitter at nice1983. You can email me at nice1983 at gmail.com. Go ahead and hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. If you're a fan of the Nintendo Power Zone podcast, you can go ahead and download new episodes on iTunes, Google Play Music, and you can stream new episodes on Stitcher Radio. But if you like watching us live, you can catch us here on YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash the article, T-H-A-A-R-T-I-C-L-E. And don't forget, guys, every Wednesday at 3 p.m., I have a brand new unboxing video just for you. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and watch out for Amiibo Hunters on the Prowl. Deuces!